everyone. Have you heard of poetry tea time? I have my tea right here. And I want to encourage you to have a poetry tea time with your family, either this weekend or sometime during the Thanksgiving holiday. What's that? You don't really care for tea? That's okay. You could have hot chocolate or maybe hot cider or chocolate milk. You'll have to talk to your grown-ups about it, but it should be some kind of drink that makes you feel cozy. And then what happens is the, your family gets together and everyone brings a poem to share. I'm going to share some of my favorite Thanksgiving poems in the family resource. So if you want to, you could draw from those poems or maybe you have a book of poetry at your house that you could pull off the shelf or you could go to the library or look on the internet or knowing how clever you are, you probably could write your own Thanksgiving poem. I want to share a few lines from some poems with you. One of them was written by a Unitarian Universalist minister named Max Coots, and it's a poem that I often read around Thanksgiving time. It goes like this. Let us give thanks for a bounty of people, for generous friends with smiles as bright as blossoms, for feisty friends as tart as apples, and then he goes on and he describes all of his friends, like comparing them to fruits and vegetables. It is very funny. I also have a poem here that I bet you know already. It was written by Lydia Maria Child, who was a Unitarian, and it is so popular that it's even set to music as a song. It's called Thanksgiving Day, and it starts over the river and through the woods. And as I've shared with you before, I love pumpkin pie. And so I love that it ends, hooray for the pumpkin pie. Thanksgiving is a time when we really pause and we give thanks for our connections to all of life. And so in religious exploration, one of the things that we are going to be doing at First Parish is sharing an address that was written by Chief Jake Swamp. It's actually a good morning mes message to express gratitude for connection to all of life because our lives are interdependent with the web of life. His, poem, his address starts like this. To be human is an honor. We offer thanksgiving for the gifts of life. I give thanks for you, and I hope that you have a wonderful Thanksgiving with opportunities to enjoy the company of your family and also moments to savor.